we made some changes in the way we send events to Google Analytics or Google Ad Stack. Uh, what I mean by that, we now, with the previous version, uh, send individual events for each tag. So an event will be configured for Google Analytics and another event, maybe with the same name, but a different event will be configured just for Google Ads if you have both Google Analytics and Google Ads installed using Pixel Your Site Professional. Uh, after these changes, the same event will be sent to both tags. This is done to optimize speed and to improve tracking and unify uh, tracking across Google Analytics properties and Google Ads accounts. Now, what you should do right now if you have uh, Google Analytics and Google Ads installed with our plugin. This is Pixel Your Site and on this demo website I have a uh, not Facebook. Sorry, I'm used to um, record videos about Facebook. So I have Google Analytics and I have Google Ads. And uh, the all setup will fire events separately for each of these tags. Let's, let's fire some event like scroll, time on page, scroll, whatever. So this would be an event for uh, Google Ads tag and this one, same name, but a different event for Google Analytics. Right now, you should go to Google Analytics, Analytics settings and you should enable this unify Google Analytics 4 and Google Ads and save. Once you do so, Instead of two events, we will have one event sent to both tags. I only have a Google Analytics uh, tag and a Google Ads tag on this website. I can have multiple tags and they will uh, be listed here. B multiple Google Ads or multiple Google Analytics uh, four tags installed using Pixar site. But that's uh, the topic for another video I plan to make. Now, uh, it's very easy, right? You, you, you see why this is useful. It simplifies things. Uh, it will be less um, uh, resource consuming and so on. If you have events for Google Ads or Google Analytics configured inside the plugin, I'm referring to this um, section of the plugin events where you can set up your own events for various tags. Uh, check this option, migrate events and save. After you do this, open the event and check if everything is all right. Uh, we try to migrate the options in a logical way, but sometimes it's not possible to have the exact uh, the identical configuration after this migration pro pro process is completed. So uh, if you have events configured inside the plugin for Google uh, Ads or for Google Analytics, open the event and check if everything looks fine. Now, uh, once you unify the tags, there's also something different in the way you can configure new events for Google Ads or Google Analytics. Uh, you have the trigger here and you have enable Google Tags and now you can send the event to all pixels or tags installed or Google related pixels or select uh, a Google app, um, Analytics 4 tag and Google Ads tag, whatever you need. You don't create an event for Google Ads, an event for Google um, Analytics, you create an event for Google in general and then select the tags you want to uh, enable for this event. Once you do so, you add your parameters and uh, the process is similar to what you are already used right now. Um, that's it. For now, for now, we still run the all setup by default, but I plan maybe in two or three weeks to completely remove the other setup and keep the tags unified like this. Google will be a unique setup for Google Ads and Google Analytics. Um, so in order to see if there are any problems with your events, enable the setup from here, Google Analytics settings, unified 
tags and uh, wait and s check for any problems maybe something is not right with the way events fire with this unified configuration uh, that's it i'm christian stoichesko from pixel your site uh, like share and subscribe to our channel